Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Sector 5. Uh, we're starting something new, again. Uh, it is going to be Sector 5 pay-per-view reviews. So we're going to start with Night of Champions. Uh, as you know, the pre-show was a battle royal to see who's going to face Antonio Senzaro for the United States Championship. The winner of that was the Long Island IZ, Zach, Zach Ryder. Woo, woo, woo. You know it, so I'm going to go ahead and just start with that match. Uh, okay, so, United States Championship, as we just said. Zach Ryder versus Antonio Cesaro. And the winner was Antonio Cesaro. Zach Ball. Woo, woo, woo. Mm. You know it. That's very depressing. Uh, I really wanted to see him win. But, oh, one of that one was Antonio Cesaro. On to the Fatal 4-Way match. The Miz versus Rey Mysterio versus Sin Cara versus Cody Rhodes for Intercontinental Championship. And the winner was... The Miz. The Miz. So the Miz kept his Intercontinental Championship. He's awesome. No. Uh, on to the Divas match. Now, there was a big controversy about that one. It was supposed to be Caitlyn versus Layla. But, Caitlyn was back in the locker room, uh, warming up, getting ready for her match. And she was attacked behind by a masked Diva, which most likely was Eve Torres because Eve Torres got to take the number one contender spot and face Layla and the winner of that was Eve. So the new Divas Champion Eve Torres. Mm. On to Tag Team Title. Uh, Kofi Kingston and R-Truth versus Kane and Daniel Bryan and the winner of that was Kane and Daniel Bryan. That, little Jimmy. that means Kofi's no longer tag team champion. I'm gonna have to replace my background picture. Um, <laughs> so new tag team champions: Kane and Daniel Bryan. And Kofi Kingston, our truth. Well, most likely, if they they'll probably get a rematch, and if they don't win. Uh, tag team's probably over. Sad to say, but Kofi and R-Truth are probably no longer going to be tagged up. Uh, so, on to the next match. Intercontinent, I mean, for the World Heavyweight Championship, it was Sheamus versus, uh, Alberto Del Rio. And ba Bro Kick was banned. Or was it? Hmm. About your tell them what happened. As far as I heard, it was reinstated. In the middle of the match, Booker T came out and said, Hey, sucker! I don't know how he actually said it, but somewhere in there he probably said, Sucker, hey, Alberto Del Rio, guess what? The bro kick is legal. Now, can you dig that? Sucker! It'd be something like that. Uh, so during the match, uh, the bro kick was legalized again, like I predicted in my predictions. Uh, so, Sheamus retained the World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. On to the next match, Randy Orton versus Dolph Ziggler. Orton won. Uh, as I, it, the, the, this review is just me looking on WWE.com and figuring out who won. Uh, I know it's still not over officially because we still have one match we gotta do. But uh, when we actually watch it, the reviews will be more interesting. But right now, we're just telling you pretty much who won, who lost, what happened uh, that we read online. Uh, so, if 
you want to see the results and read more in depth of what happened and view some pictures, go to WWE.com. Uh, finally, we have the WWE Championship mm -hmm. match. Cena versus CM Punk. And the winner of the match was... CM Punk. Nobody. Mm -hmm. It ended in a draw. Double pin. So CM Punk keeps the title. But it ended in a draw, which means no winner, no loser. CM Punk just like, they're just like, hey, CM Punk's the champion, and technically they both won, so might as well make it like a count out, just qualification type thing, and just CM Punk keeps the title. Uh, so, so most likely, in the world. uh, there's a good chance I could see a WWE Championship match tomorrow on Monday Night Raw. Good chance. Uh, I'm not saying this and putting money on it. I mean, there's a good... A lot of my predictions that I do, I could put money on, and I'm usually right. Uh, but this is not one of them. Also, another match I could tell you that may happen tomorrow, Zack Ryder versus Lord Tensai. Uh... That was before the title match. Uh, there's a good chance Zack Ryder could face Antonio Cesaro again on Monday Night Raw. Or they make it a triple threat. I, you never know how they're going to go. But in my mind, since the last person that Zack Ryder eliminated was Lord Tensai, he's going to be pretty mad and want a piece of Zack Ryder. Uh, so there's a good chance that's going to be tomorrow on Raw. Or there's a good chance that he's not going to be on there at all. I just realized something. Hmm. I'm doing a Sector 5 without my fedora. Hmm. Oh no! Uh, so that's pretty much what happened uh, hmm. on Night of Champions. As I said, we didn't watch it. I just went on WWE.com uh, consistently to figure out, you know, what happened, what match, what who won the matches. Uh, Pretty much see if uh, Kofi Kingston and R-Truth were able to retain, which, as I said earlier, they weren't. Uh, so right now, it's just pretty much us telling you, hey, these are the winners. And not putting our two cents of uh, our ideas on the match, because we really don't know what happened and what progressed. Uh, so, that's about it for this we'll hope to bring you uh, our predictions on the next pay-per-view I couldn't tell you what the name of it is uh, I really don't I think it might be I think it's bragging rights next which if it is bragging rights that ought to be an interesting uh, one to watch So, I'm Cody Heinzman, Bo Becker, hoping to continue this segment of uh, WWE uh, pay-per-view reviews here on Sector 5, because I know there's a lot of people who, like, can't watch the pay-per-views, like, we don't watch a lot of them, and would like to know what happened. You probably do the same thing we do. But I'd like to start bringing on... I mean, since we put our predictions, I thought, hey, why don't we also, like, tell people what actually happened? Instead of just telling them, hey, this is what we predict. Now, watch the show and see what happens and see if we're right and we not tell you if we were right or not. So, if we were to go back on our predictions, uh, I was right on who would win the Battle Royal. I said Zack Ryder would win. I think you just said Santino. Yeah. Uh, so, that's one for me, zero for him. Then, uh, <coughs> for the United States Championship, I said Zack Ryder. Mm -hmm. I think you said Zack Ryder, too. Mm -hmm. So, that's zero. So, I'm still ahead by one. Uh, Kofi Kingston and R Truth versus Kane and Daniel Bryan. I stayed loyal to Kofi and R Truth. I think you. 
actually thought I came to Daniel Ryan, didn't you? Can't remember. I think so. So. I would believe so. One and one here. <laughs> uh. Randy Orton versus Dolph Ziggler. We both agreed on that one that Randy Orton would win, so that's two and two. Uh, no doubt there. <laughs> for the Intercontinental Championship, we were both wrong. He said Rey Mysterio. I said Sin Cara. Uh, so, that's still two and two. Uh, Divas match, we were both wrong because we didn't expect the ambush from behind. So... Two and two still. Uh, WWE Championship. We didn't expect a draw. So, that's still. Two and two. World Heavyweight Championship. Sheamus. So, three and yes. three. Uh, yes. Yes. I think that's actually all the match. Yeah. Pretty sure we went through all the matches. And, end result, three and three. So, uh. On this uh, review, me and Bo actually tied up on our <laughs> predictions. <coughs> so, we'll do a little bit of that just to see who, like, wins and loses and prediction-wise. Because it's going to be a little bit fun doing that. So, once again, I'm Penny Heisman. He's Bo. Wishing hey. you a good week. And if you're good at John Marshall... Uh, post below if you're going to participate in uh, any of the Spirit Week this week because I'd like to see who's all doing it. Mm. Our prayers still go out to Jerry the King. Yeah, hopefully Jerry will be back on Monday Night Raw. If not, just keep uh, hashtag prayers uh, for Lawler. I'd love to have a second five thing be a hashtag. I, I know there's not a lot of people out there that watch. Well, I shouldn't really say that. I know there's a good bit of people who watch. If there's anything we say that's quote worthy, because there's a lot of stuff we say, like lovely mashed potatoes. I'd love to see a hashtag lovely mashed potatoes. <coughs> I got one more. <coughs> <coughs> oh my God. Uh, 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 he's coughing up a lung. <coughs> <coughs> There it is. Oh. My mouth is starting to get dry. <coughs> <coughs> There's another one. I think you're going to have to take over. Uh oh. <coughs> How many lungs he got? <sighs> there is the third one. I'm the doctor. <laughs> Okay, but anyways, uh... He needs a doctor. <laughs> I'm Cody. Bo. <sighs> and that's just how it is. Uh, continue to watch for our video September 28th. <coughs> <coughs> oh! Epic. And another note. I kind of broke Neil's nose. I wasn't going to bring that up, but... Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> so, be careful if you ever do imitate any of this stuff. People can get hurt. He's got a black eye. Oh, Even though it's us saying this. <laughs> but he's got a black eye. I've broken a nose. And I've actually kind of hurt my back so we've been getting injured a little bit uh, nothing surgical wise my funny bone yeah <laughs> my funny bone during the intercontinental championship match uh, but I love how I grabbed the intercontinental championship as I said that uh, but that's all we've rambled too long if you forgot what this video was about, rewatch from the beginning. Everything. Oh, fans, tell us your favorite videos. <laughs> yeah, uh, in the uh, little comment section below, you can't see me. Can't see me. Oh, speaking of which, 
John Cena's got a new shirt and hat which he probably wore to the ring today that I like. It has uh, Rise Above Cancer. I love the shirt. I want the shirt. Uh, but that's all from us here. Uh, e but in the comments below, uh, I want you to put uh, what you thought about, well, one, what you thought about this video. Uh, two, uh, if you happen to beat our prediction number, as remember, we tied three and three on our predictions. So if you thought, if you got four of the master's rights on your predictions, you can say, ha ha, I beat both of you. I got four rights. Uh, just leave that in the description below uh, uh, give us our your feedback on any of the past videos because there's like 200 some videos we have up I wish it, that was episode numbers but it's just individual videos wise we have like 200 videos up uh, getting pretty close to having 300 videos uh, I'd have to figure out what actual number is while we still have this on, I'll go ahead and turn the bow, and I'm going to look that up. I wish I would have had that up. Out of time. And your answer is... You're wrong. <laughs> 220. We have 220 videos up. Of a mixture of Sector 5 videos, uh, singing edition, uh, Sector 5 before it was Sector 5 with the video games. Uh, behind the scenes stuff like the Christmas parade or just us talking in Bo's van. Uh, updates on where we're going, what we're doing. Road trips. Uh, so, yeah. 221 after we put this one up. 221 videos. Go back and watch some. I mean, some of them are like full fledged episodes that are like five, six videos long, but it's worth the taking time and watching. It's worth the wait. <laughs> so, once again, Cody, Bo, and we're out. Lovely mashed potatoes.